Let's play in the shed day, so what's going on today? This is an example of tensegrity that I saw on the internet and I thought, hmm, I'd like to build that. I've left a link in the description of the video where this guy explains the technology behind tensegrity. Anyway, based on the pictures, this is what I've drawn that I'm going to use as a guide for my build. The top left shows channels cut into the base underneath that are used to tension the cables once everything's together. Anyway, given that failure is always an option, let's just get into it. I've got a piece of 10mm thick and a piece of 6mm thick aluminium that I'm going to use for the base and the top. Now, there's no way that I have the skills to cut perfect circles. But, by bolting these two pieces together, I can put them on the lathe and create the circle that way. That proved to be pretty easy. Just a final buff up and the circles are done. Now I want to cut the channels under the base. And I've made some uh, rudimentary measurements as to where I need to go with that. And I'm using the mill for this process. My crappy little rotary table is still good enough to do this particular job. But I'm taking it a bit at a time and I'm cutting three and a half mil deep at a time down to seven mil total. That's done, but it produced a huge amount of chips that went all over the place. No matter. Anyway, now it's time to drill the holes for the cables that go through the base and also a couple of holes to hold um, the bottom um, arm in. and the corresponding holes go in the top as well. At the opposite end of where the cable comes out of the base, there's going to be a screw that goes in the side. This will tension the cable once everything's together on each of the three cables. And I'm using an M3 for this. So I'm just carefully threading it by hand. I'm threading the top at the moment and this will also have a little M3 bolt that will hold the top of the cable through a loop. You'll see how this works when I put everything together. These little pieces are part of the tension mechanism. The cable attaches to one end and the bolt screws into the other end to pull that back and tension the cable. As I said, the cable's held by a little bolt in one end of this. And for the cable to go in, I'm just cutting a slot. And for fiddly jobs like this, the hand vise really comes in, well, actually, it comes in handy. The Tensegrity plinth has two arms, one from the top and one from the bottom. It's got a number of holes in it. They're all different diameters. So to get the holes in the right place, I've got some XY coordinates that I can use with my DRO once I zero on that bottom right hand corner. But first, I've got to prepare the blanks and I'm using two 
six mil pieces for this. Using the DRO I can get both arms the same. I'm up to this one at the moment, so I set the XY on the DRO and I'm ready to drill the next hole, etc, etc. Now that I've got the face holes done for both pieces, I can drill the tapping size hole for the base. Again, I'm going to use M3 bolts for this. Now the technical parts are done, I can cut out the base. So I'll just cut out the piece of paper and I'll colour across over the top of it and that'll give me a guide for roughly cutting it out of the bandsaw. With the pieces cut out, I'm just finishing it off with the finger sander and I'll use a little bit of sandpaper on the edges etc just to make it looking a bit more pretty. Aluminium conducts heat very quickly so I'm having to dunk it back in the water fairly often. Alrighty then. I can now put the arms on the base and on the top. If you watched any of my other videos you'll know that I make at least one mistake in every build. And this build is no exception. So let me know in the comments what the mistake was. When the cables are attached, the top and bottom will look something like this. I'm using one mil wire cable and some little lengths of brass tubing to create a loop on each end of the cable. And to hold the loop and the brass in place, I'll be just using ordinary solder. And again, this is where my little hand vise comes in handy. With the loop done on one end, I now need to thread it through the base before I put the other loop on. Now I've got a loop on each end of the cable, I can attach that little attaching piece of aluminium and put the bolt through the side that'll allow me to tension up that cable when they're all put together.
two down, one to go. Here you can see how the top cable fits. The loop goes up into that hole and then the bolt goes through the loop and holds the cable. Magic! Now that I've got all three outer cables connected, I can connect the inner cable that holds both the arms together. This cable is built the same way, with a loop at each end and held in with little bolts. Right, all the pieces together, but it looks pretty ordinary at the moment. All we need now to do is go to each of the tightening bolts and tighten up those cables. All the cables tensioned with the same length on each cable and now just a little bit of bling to fill in that hole at the bottom. Just a little bit of little brass knob with some super glue on it will cover up that hole nicely. There we go, much better. Now to cover up that top face because after all this is going to be a plinth so something needs to sit on it. So I've just got this self-adhesive foam that I'm going to stick on the top. Job's all done. Now all I need to do is decide what I'm going to put on that plinth. Will it be the little aluminium diamond that I made some time ago? Hmm, that doesn't look too bad. Or, maybe I should put that huge nut and bolt that I made in the last video on top of it. How much does this weigh? Well, it comes in at about 4 pound, or 1.8 kilos. Hmm, pretty heavy. Let's give it a try. Will the plinth hold it? Yep, holds the weight no problem at all, but it looks a bit too big. I think I'll go with the diamond. Anyway, here's the job done. And you can see that it moves, but it can't move very far because of the tensegrity of it all. Another fun build and a bit more bling to clutter up the lounge room. And I'm grateful for a very understanding wife that lets me clutter up the place with this stuff. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.